here in Machine Tool, we actually teach the kids conventional machining. Uh, there's so many different styles of machining that are out there. Most industries now are CNC stuff, which we do move to CNC our second year. Uh, but you need to learn how everything works to where you can actually function it to understand how the, the CNC machines work. So we actually teach them how to thread on the lathe, uh, to create threads for like bolts and stuff, drill and tap holes on the mill. So it's, it's you, you standard stuff that we start with so they understand how it all works. There is not a product that you hold in your hand that didn't have some kind of machining to it. Everything has been machined, some aspect to be created. Uh, so there's not a part on a car that has not been machined or created a mold or form or it was a machine was made to make it. So there's machining processes in everything we see day in and day out. Here in Greenville, which we're lucky in the surrounding areas, I mean, this automotive is, is a big deal. Um, when BMW came in, there's a lot of companies that do uh, a lot of automotive parts to supply them. Those jobs plentiful throughout the area very easily because uh, a lot of things are run in production form. For someone to actually be a tool and die maker now, it's far and few between a true machinist because the machines, a lot of machines can do a lot of it for you. Um, so I, I think a lot of companies are in demand of true machinists now. Uh, and then that's where it starts is actually on the manual machines um, because you got to know how to make it to create what they need. If you love creating and building stuff, to me that's just the amazing part. And if you really look in depth of like I was saying of how many parts are working like in a car, car engine, or whatever your interests are, there's some kind of machining that has been applied to it.